Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering heparin dosages. I promise guys, it is super easy. And something I noticed about you students, they tend to get scared because of all the zeros. That means nothing. I promise it's super easy. You're gonna love this video. So please go ahead and support this channel by liking this video now so you don't forget. Press that red no notification button so you'll be notified every time a new video is released. And let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Guys, don't forget, I have audio lessons available for you on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. All right, so let's get started. Question one, the medication order is heparin, 600 units per hour. What the label reads is 20,000 units of heparin in 1,000 mLs. Normal saline, how many milliliters will be administered to the patient per hour? Okay, as I say in every single video, make your life easier. Always start with what's given to you together. You're always, there's going to be four pieces of information. Two of them are always going to be together. Then you're going to have a third piece of information and you're solving for X. So you always want to start with the two pieces of information that are together. If you look at the label, usually that is what's together. So let's do number one. Look at what's together. 20,000 units of heparin in 1,000 mLs. So I'm just going to copy that down. 1,000 units in, oops, sorry. Just joking, not 1,000 units. 20,000 units in 1,000 ml. The reason why I wrote out the word unit and I didn't just put a U, if you just put a U, when you're doing your math, you might make a mistake and think that U was a zero and it'll completely mess you up. So I encourage you to write the whole thing out, okay? So just like it says here, 20,000 units in 1,000 mLs, I have 20,000 units in 1,000 ml. I'm gonna put my equal sign over here. Now, whatever I have up here has to also be units. And whatever I have on the bottom has to be mLs. Why? Both sides have to match. ML, ML, unit, unit. And I encourage you guys to always put your unit of measurement so that if you ever have to convert, that unit of measurement will remind you that you have to convert if that's something that you have to do, okay? So anyway, if I go back to my question, the only thing I have left is my 600 units. Am I going to put my 600 units here or on the bottom? I'm going to put it up here because it's units, right? So I'm going to put my 600 here which means we're solving for X. The X is gonna be down here. Now that I have my problem set up, now I can cross multiply. So I'm gonna do 20,000 times X, which equals 20,000 X. And I'm gonna cross multiply on the other side, 1,000 times 600, which equals six times one is six. Let me add my zeros, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, by the way, guys, just use your calculator. Okay, so you can use your calculator to do 1,000 times 600. There you go, 600,000, 600,000. So now I have 20,000 X equals 600,000. I have to get X by itself. What am I going to do? Divide by both sides to get X by itself. So I'm going to divide this side by 20,000 and divide this side by 20,000. Right? So now I have um, 600,000 over 20,000. So just put in your calculator, 600,000 divided by 20,000. And you should get 30. 30. Am I done? No, because you can have the right answer, but if you do not have the right unit of measurement, your instructor will mark it wrong or the computer will mark it wrong. So if you forget what your unit of measurement is supposed to be, just go back to X. Remember, we're always solving for X and next to X is ML. So we're going to give 30 ML. This is your answer. Let's try the next question. Question number two. Look at what question number two says. So we have heparin 400 units per hour. That's what's ordered. But what we have is 20,000 units in 2,000 milliliters. Let's set it up. 
We're going to start with the two things that are given to us together, 20,000 units and 2,000 mLs. 20,000 units in 2,000 mL. Equals. Now let me go ahead and just put my unit of measurement in now so I don't make a mistake. On top is going to be units. Whatever I plug in, it has to be units. And on the bottom, whatever I plug in has to be ML. Why? Because they have to always match unit, unit, ML, ML. Great. Go back to number two. We have the 20,000 units in 2,000 ML. So the only thing we have left is the 400 units. Am I going to put the 400 units on top or bottom? On top, because this is already units. So I know this is where my 400 belongs. 400 and we're solving for X. Cross multiply, 20,000 times X equals 20,000 X, and 2,000 times 400 equals, two times four is eight, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It should be 800,000. Let me do 2,000 times 400 just to make sure. 2,000 times 800. Oh, that's not right. 2,000 times 400. 800,000. Okay. So now we have 20,000 X equals 800,000. We have to get that X by itself. So what are we going to do? Divide by both sides. Divide this side by 20,000 and divide this side by 20,000. 800, how many times is 20,000 going to 800,000? Go ahead and do it on your calculator. It should be 40, 800,000 divided by 20,000. You should get 40. But are we done? 40 what? Go back to our X, we're solving for what? ML, so the correct answer is 40 milliliters. Number three. You guys see how all of those zeros are just meant to scare you, but this is so simple. Number three. The orders for heparin 200 units per hour, what we have is 25,000 units of heparin in 500 mLs. So let's start with the two that are connected. That's my 25,000 units. In 500 mLs equals 200 units per hour. So on this side, is my 200 units gonna go on the top or the bottom? It's going to go on the top. So I'm going to put my 200 up here and we're solving for X. Now we can cross multiply because everything matches unit, unit, ML, ML. So 25,000 times X gives me 25,000 X. And 200 times 500 gives me five times two is 10. Add my zeros, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It should give me 100,000. Let me do 500 times 200. Yes, 100,000, okay? So now we have 25,000 X equals 100,000. We have to get X by itself. So what are we gonna do? Divide by both sides, very good. So we're gonna divide by 25,000. 25,000. So now we're going to do a, how many times is 25,000 going to 100,000? So just pull out your calculator, 100,000 divided by 25,000. And the correct answer should be four. Did I have this wrong? Let me see. Oh, no, four. But I'm not done. For what? What's my units? Go back to X and it's ML. So I'm gonna plug in my ML. Now I got the correct answer, four milliliters. Let's do number four. 
What's ordered is 250 units per hour. What we have on the label is 25,000 units in a thousand. So let's start with what's given to us together, which is a 25,000 units in a thousand ml. Let's go ahead and put units on top and put the ML on the bottom. The only thing we have left here, guys, is our 250, 250 units. So that's gonna go on top because this is units. So I'm gonna put my 250 up here and we solve for X. Now we can cross multiply 25,000 X equals 25,000 X. And then 250 times 1,000 equals one, two, three, one, two, three, 250,000. Okay, good. So I have 25,000 X equals 250,000. I got to get X by itself. So I'm going to divide by both sides again. So now how many times does 25,000 go into 250,000? Uh, 25 and 250, I'm not even gonna try to do that in my brain. 250 divided by 25. So we should get 10. Oops, sorry, there we go. But are we done? No, we gotta put our unit of measurement. So let's look next to the X and it's ML. 10 ml. <clears throat> Super easy, guys. Super duper easy. All right, this is the last one because I'm sure you guys have the hang of it by now, right? Heparin, heparin um, drips is not as scary as it once was. All right, so the order is... Is that the one I just did? No. The order is um, 75 units per hour. What we have is 25,000 units in 2,000 ml. So let's plug in what we have together at first, which is our 25,000 and 2,000. Equals... 75 units. So my 75 is going to go over here because it's units. And I'm solving for X, which is going to be ML. Now we can cross multiply 25,000 times X is 25,000 X. Uh, 2,000 times 75. What is 75 times 2? Two thousand times seventy-five. Okay, should give you one hundred fifty thousand. So now I have twenty-five thousand x equals one hundred fifty thousand. We have to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide that twenty-five thousand on both sides. So now I have one hundred fifty thousand divided by twenty-five. Thousand. Go ahead, plug that into your um, calculator. And that should give you six. You guys all should get six, but we're not done. We have to put our unit of measurement. Go back to X and we see we're solving for ML. But I think there's only... I'll do one more, I'll do one more. All right, last one guys, number six. By the way, um, I saw in the comments, someone was acting, asking for drip factors. I already did a video with drip factors, but if you want some more practice, I have another one coming your way. But if you check my pharmacology playlist, you will see um, a lesson that I did teaching you how to do drip factors but there's more coming if you just wanted more. Okay, um, last one, number six. What's ordered is 300 units 
per hour. And what we have is 20,000 units of heparin in a thousand. So let's start with what's given to us together, which is at 20,000 units. Remember to write out the whole words so you don't mistake your U for zero. 20,000 units in a thousand milliliters. And what we have left is our 300 units. Is that 300 gonna go on top or on the bottom? It's gonna go on top because it's units. 300 all over X. Now let's cross multiply. 20,000 times X is 20,000 X. And then 1,000 times three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, should give you 300,000, 1,000 times 300. That should give you 300,000. So now we have 20,000 X equals 300,000. We got to get X by itself. So we're going to divide by both sides. And you should get 15. When you do 300,000 divided by 20,000, your answer should be 15. But are we done? No, we got to put our unit of measurement. So we look at X and we remember that we're solving ML. So we're going to put an ML next to that 15. We're giving 15 MLs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Very, very easy. Something else I saw in the comment section, I saw that um, some of you guys were requesting for safe um, safe dosages. So that video is going to be coming up as well. I'm going to be working on the safe dosages for you and more drip factors. If there's anything that you'd like to see that I haven't mentioned that you'd like me to cover, please go ahead, put it in the comment section. I just can't respond to everyone, but I read every single comment. Guys, thank you so much for the words of encouragement. Those who have been encouraging me in the comments, I'm going to keep going and i'm going to keep trying to produce as many videos for you guys as possible and all i ask is that you guys please support me in any way that you can whether it's by sharing my content purchasing an audio lesson or purchasing a tumblr right um just support my channel any way that you can don't forget you guys can catch uh, me on my social media platforms doing questions about every single day on TikTok, instagram or Facebook. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will see me on the next video.